Hi guys, I miss you and I know it feels strange not to be in school. So I'm really thankful though that we have phones and technology and that I brought some of my books home. So I was gonna read a book today and this is one of my favorite Mo Willems. And if you are not following the Mo Willems doodling at lunchtime every day, it's pretty good. <laughs> and you can go back and catch up on them on the YouTube page if you don't have time to watch the lives. So this is called Naked Mole Rat Gets Dressed by Mo Willems. And naked mole rats are real tiny creatures. So you can also do some science with this and Google some videos and pictures of naked mole rats. Like they're interesting. I'm gonna say it like that. They're very interesting, fun. There is so much to learn about the fascinating little creatures known as naked mole rats. But for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one, they are a little bit rat. Number two, they are a little bit mole. And number three, they are all naked. Well, they were, with one exception. Okay, so you see these tiny, cute little pink guys? Wilbur, the naked mole rat who liked to get dressed. <laughs> he says, hello. I mean, he's so cute. When the other naked mole rats saw him, they said, ew, yuck, what are you doing? So judgy. I like clothes, replied Wilbur. When I get dressed, I can be fancy or funny or cool, or I can just be an astronaut. He has such a good imagination. When the others heard that, they said, ew, yuck. If you like clothes so much, then why don't you open a store or something? See the little grouchy ones? Naked mole rats can be very sarcastic. But Wilbur thought that was a great idea. It says clothes. Fun, warmer, try it, sail. <laughs> the other naked mole rats did not, as in they did not think it was a great idea. Poor Wilbur. They brought Wilbur to a, gr a giant portrait of Grandpa the oldest, greatest, and most naked, naked mole rat ever. So we have Grandpa. Look at that picture, they demanded. Look at his heroic face. Look at his regal bearing. Look at his total lack of clothing. I wanted to read this at school, but I felt like it might get a little out of control with the laughter. So this is actually a great way to read it to you. Grandpa did look heroic. Grandpa did look regal, but he would also look heroic and regal in a casual shirt and some summer slacks. Ugh, said the other naked mole rats. Don't you get it? Naked mole rats don't wear clothes. How would you feel if you were Wilbur? Hmm. I would feel very lonely and misunderstood, like nobody gets me and probably a little embarrassed and frustrated. Wilbur says, why not? Asked Wilbur. Something had to be done. The naked mole rats marched right over to Grandpa and told him all about Wilbur. And then he asked, why not? Hmm. Grandpa was very wise. He thought seriously about everything he had heard. Oh, then he thought some more. Hmm. I like his little wrinkles. <laughs> I just gotta show you again. 
one. Look at little wrinkly grandpa. Finally, he said in a heroic, regal voice, Gather the colony. I shall make a proclamation. That's a fun big word. How many syllables are in that? Proclamation. Count your syllables, folks. When Wilbur heard about Grandpa's proclamation, he knew it was serious. A proclamation! A proclamation! A proclamation! Oh, oops, sorry, there goes the page. But he had no idea what to wear. Look at all his cute little outfits. Do you ever feel so nervous about what to wear to something important and you just keep changing clothes? That's how Wilbur felt. In the end, Wilbur decided to play it safe. Just his socks. He's so cute. Okay. Maybe not safe enough. The others were so busy looking at Wilbur's socks that no one noticed Grandpa enter until he cleared his throat and proclaimed, Fellow naked mole rats, I had never worn clothes until I heard Wilbur's simple question. Why not? Why not indeed? Do clothes hurt anyone? No. Are they fun? Well, they may not be for everyone, but this old naked mole rat wishes he had tried getting dressed earlier. Then Grandpa complimented Wilbur on his socks. Grandpa's wearing a suit. As fast as his legs could take him, Wilbur rushed home, put on his favorite outfit and dashed back. When he returned, Wilbur discovered he was not alone. Much has been said about that day, but for this story, you only need to know three things. Number one, some of the mole rats were naked. Number two, some of the mole rats were clothed. But number three, all of the mole rats had a great time. No exceptions. Clothes. The end.